Josh's Order Corner. That's me. Let's talk about The Shining. Red rum. All that shit, right? But not the Stephen King book version. Let's talk the Stanley Kubrick movie version. Now, why would I say the Stanley Kubrick movie version and not just the Stephen King movie adaptation? Because... As a lot of people know, the differences between the book and the movie are vast. They're very, very, very different. Um, I'm a fan of the book more so than the movie, but I do have a new appreciation for the movie. Um, Audie Marsh hit me up not long ago, and he was like, hey, found something you're going to want to check out. He sent me a link. Audie is, he loves the movie version. Like, he loves it. He's not a big fan of of the Stephen King side of things. I'm the complete opposite. But... What he sent me was something that I am very grateful for and stoked that he sent my way. And I was going to read the post and then show you what it is, but I think I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to show you what it is and then read the post. This came all the way from the Netherlands. How insane is that? And it came in such good shape, like not a single ding or dent. That's crazy to me. Um, And it's probably something that If it wasn't for this, I would never have this in my collection. So I am very, very grateful for Audie sending me this link. There we go. All right. Says right there. Thank you, Joshua. That's me. And go ahead and easy cut this open here. So Audie has a great collection of things from The Shining. I'm not going to speak too much on it because that is his story to tell. Uh, But he has a really cool collection of stuff. And when he saw this, that's cool. Um, he knew that it'd be something I would be interested in. In the book, in the movie, there's a scene that is open for interpretation, we'll say. Uh, if you Google it, you can find articles about uh, what it is and what it means. The movie version, uh, they say that it is in reference to um, sexual abuse towards Danny Torrance uh, from his father, in the book, uh, it's a dog. I guess I should show it now, huh? Not a bear. But what we have here is the scene where Wendy is going down the hallway. She has a knife in her hand, and she looks in, and there's the man, and then the man in the bear suit. In the Kubrick version, uh, well, in the book, it's referenced that this is the hotel owner. It's not really said in the Kubrick version who it is, but it's alluded to. That's the hotel owner. And then here is the man dressed as the as the bear. This is signed by the actor who portrayed the hotel owner, which is Brian V. Towns. Now, it has a COA of sorts on the back. The Shining 2022 official uh, authentic- authentication label. That's, oh, it takes you to the YouTube video. And that that's cool. Uh, I'll put this down in the description below. But it takes you to a YouTube video of like a documentary that was made for this. Let me read you the post. Brian V. Towns played the hotel owner in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining from 1980 in the famous bear suit scene. Brian is my great uncle, and he personally signed some photos featuring him in the scene. I was there and handed him the photos to be signed. Some have sold out, but the photos below are still available. Needless to say, Brian's signature varies at each photo, multiple available each photo, each photo, blah, blah, blah. That's just about the photos themselves. Uh, and then he had a selection of like the Polaroid and then different sizes of these photos. That, my friends, is a very, I'll say rare, autograph from Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. And very cool because it's not only um, rare, but it comes from the family member of the actor here who portrayed one of the more mysterious pieces of that movie 
So if you've seen the documentary about what, Room 237 that goes into uh, all the different theories and conspiracies and stuff like that behind the scenes, you know that there is some wild shit going on in Stanley Kubrick's films and in his head. So this is a piece that if it wasn't for audio, I would not have my collection. If it wasn't for Thomas, who is selling these, I wouldn't have my collection. And I'm stoked because having something rare like this is super cool for me. And this is going to have a great home in my collection up on my Stephen King shelf. Very happy about that. Now I got to get the mask. I've been wanting that mask for so long, but now I'm going to get the mask next to it. Ooh, build out a display. It's going to be super. Till next time.